In this video, we are talking hooks for your RV. By the end of this video, I'm gonna have you all hooked up. On this video, I figured we would talk about the different types of hooks that we use inside our RV. I'm going to talk about my favorites, and if you can think of any that I may have missed, leave a comment in the description box below. That way, I might can check out some new things that you might know about. I've had a few people reach out and ask if I would do a tour of the inside of the house. If that's something that you are interested in, let me know in the comments, and I will work on getting a video like that. I have tried out tons of different hooks and different types of items to hold things. Now, not all the items in this video are hooks, but they will hold something. The most common is command hooks. Command hooks come in pretty ones. They come in just your basic command hooks. They come in all types, sizes, and shapes. And in our RV, I have some of the nice looking ones, and then I have some just regular looking ones. I guess it just depends on one, what price you want to pay, and two, what look you're looking for. Most people want to put something in the RV that they can remove, but if you're looking for hooks that you don't remove, you could just use a regular coat hook. And we have put up several of these in the RV. Even the RV came with a few types of these hooks already installed for us. Typically, if you're looking to hang something heavier, then these are the type of hooks you want because they actually screw into the wall. If you ever take them down, they will leave a hole in your wall. Another type of hook, and again, this is probably really not a hook. At the Dollar Tree, I bought a phone case hook. It's the little ring that goes on the back of your phone so that you can hold it without dropping it. And I have a couple of these strategically placed around the RV that I put my reading glasses on it. That way I don't leave them laying around on the table. And if I forget to put them up, they're going flying around, but they are nicely kept on the hook on the wall. And I put them in the places that I need my glasses. And I have several pair of glasses in the RV that because you know, I'm getting old and well, I can't read up close. So I need readers and it's getting worse. Another type of holder that I have in the RV and I even have these in my house because I love them so much is it's a little ring and it's got like little slits in them and you push the towel into it. This keeps the towel from falling off some kind of hook or anything. It secures the towel so on travel days, you don't have to put it up and it will hang on the wall. I like this so much because I can dry my hands. I can leave it pushed in and it doesn't just fall off the wall. I really have enjoyed these. I will leave in the description box links to everything that I talk about today. In the bathroom, I have quite a few hooks that I absolutely love. So I found that these that look really nice and you can put them on tile or any smooth surface and I have these in the house. I love the way it looks. It looks like I have a very expensive hook, but it is just one of these suction cups and it looks really nice on our towel. Now, if you're not looking for something that looks this nice, they make it in a white like this. And I do have this one in our RV hidden back here because really nobody sees it. Where our shower is a big glass shower and this one you can see. And that is the reason I went with this hook over this hook. Now, I did find this hook when I was researching hooks, and I think it's a really great idea. I've used it in the house, but I cannot use it really out here like I wanted to, but it's basically a hook. It has rubber on here and here, and you're supposed to go and put it over your shower door, and then it's got the rubber on it so that it doesn't mess up the glass and then you can take your towel on off and on. The only thing about this is it's not secure. So while you're taking the towel off and on, you have to be a little careful because you can pick the whole thing up. Now in here in the RV, it will not fit over the top of this frame that we have here. 
Now, I do have a shower curtain rod that it would fit over the top of, and this is probably where I'm gonna end up putting it. I think that it can hold, like, if you had, like, to hang a shirt up or if you had to hang up a towel, I think it's a great option. But again, this was not one of my favorites. You don't wanna stick anything to the walls and you don't wanna suction anything to the walls. This would be a great little option if it would fit over your shower door. You can get these little hooks off of Amazon and they have the sticky already on them. What I've done with these, I have taken these and put them in our medicine cabinet and I've taken a basket from the Dollar Tree and hung it on there so that you can make double tiers inside your medicine cabinet. There's a quite a bit of distance between the two shelves and then I don't use all of that space. So my solution to put these that I got from Amazon and hang a Dollar Tree basket on them and then I can double stack the space. Now another thing that you can do with these is you can go to the Dollar Tree and get you some binder clips or you can get some bigger ones and you can stick these inside the medicine cabinet and I've hung I've put a clip on my toothpaste and then hung it on this hook. It gets it off from laying down, utilizes the wall space. Now, the only thing I wanna tell you about these is on the bottom basket in our medicine cabinet, I took some nano tape and put behind this to hold it secure because it was wanting to like pull away a little bit and it was making the basket tip. But once I put a piece of nano tape just holding this down, it holds the basket a little bit more level. Now on the top shelf, I left this without it because I wanted it tilted down just a little bit more because it wasn't getting in the way of something that was underneath it. But on the top shelf, I left it. And the great thing about hanging those baskets on here, you can put stuff in there and then you can just move the basket in and out of there. Also, I got another little organizing box that I had got at the Dollar Tree and I put it inside the bigger basket so that you could make multiple sections. In the bathroom, I even have some little suction cups that I had gotten at the Dollar Tree that stick. Now, Dollar Tree makes some really nice over the door hooks that you can use. For your RV, I don't have any in here, but I do have some in the house that I use. For $1.25, they're super nice. They've got some nice looking black ones, and I would recommend you could use those. Behind a door is a great place to hang things and get them out of the way. It's a hat holder. Now, they do make these, you can get them, that are like the heavy metal and everything. I found this option here. You get four of these, um, and they weren't very expensive. But what you basically, all you do is you take this, you put it on the wall, and then this slides onto it, and it makes the actual hook. It is plastic, so it's a lot lighter weight than some of the metal ones that I've seen, and I have these inside the RV, and then I have some of these in the house. They hang a lot of hats on them. Since they're plastic and the price is a lot cheaper, it makes it a better option for your RV. And these come with the sticky already on them, so you can stick them straight on. And if you wanna screw them on, they even come with the screws that you can put them in the wall if you wanted to do that. I just stuck this on with the sticky that came with it, and they have worked really good. Now, I want you to see it has mud all over it and everything. I just keep these in the box that they came and store them up under the RV, and then I put them back in these little bags each time. But that way, because you don't want to obviously leave these on here all the time, except when you're parked. These are super nice suction cups. You take them and you pop them in. These hold way better. I've had these probably six, eight months now, and I absolutely love them. I had a bunch of the Dollar Tree ones and they worked, but I would say after a month or so, they would get to where they wouldn't stick and they would keep falling off, and then I would have to get more of them. So you can spend a little bit more and get some that are super nice, and these are actually have a double hook. They have a hook here and here. I absolutely love these hooks. Like I said, we at the hunting club, I would put them up for the whole winter this year, and they never fell off. They never popped off, and I really have liked them. And look, they don't even wanna come off when you pop them off. <laughs> But I just keep these inside the little bags that they came in, inside the box, and I keep this up under the RV, so that way they don't get dirty or don't get messed up, and they keep really clean. Well, I hope this gave you some ideas for hooks and stuff for your RV to get things up off the counters and onto the walls. 
Till next time, like and subscribe.